okay good morning uh, students uh, welcome back once again in the previous classes we have discussed about these uh, various congruence criteria congruence rules along with that we talked about the various uh, example various uh, questions uh, from exercise and through our live classes also we have uh, uh, we through the conversation we got to know about how to solve the various questions uh, with regards to the congruence of triangles uh, apart from this we mm, got to know how uh, to do uh, the uh, um, how to do the various uh, applications uh, with regard with regards to this uh, congruence of triangles uh, how to prove the various uh, triangles are congruence or not how to do the manipulations by adding equals on both sides all these things i hope all of you understood the uh, till up some extent okay so uh, in today's class uh, we are going to discuss uh, a few important uh, principles a few important uh, properties of triangles uh, these properties you'll be needing for higher classes as well uh, very important properties of triangles so we'll in this particular class we'll come to know about the various properties uh, uh, with regards to or based on the different type of triangles or with respect to the triangles okay so in your book only it is given as theorem uh, this one so the very uh, next day uh, after the exercise 7.1 you have got two theorems uh, we'll talk about this in this particular class only so here we are uh, going to discuss about isosceles triangle okay so now uh, before going to that uh, particular um, uh, um, this one theorem before going to the theorem we are going to discuss one practical life experience okay so here here if i uh, ask you about isosceles triangle if i ask you about isosceles triangle all of you have idea about it isosceles triangle means the triangle where two sides are equal okay that is called isosceles triangle say this is abc the triangle abc is there this is the triangle in where two sides are equal that is i'm talking about say ab side is equal with the ac side here the two sides are equal now if in a triangle the two sides are equal then it will be called as isosceles triangle okay so isosceles triangle now if you want to do practically uh, what i want to say in an isosceles triangle say two sides are equal okay in a triangle if two sides are equal then it is called an isosceles triangle now with respect to this only what we are going to have if i ask you to measure angle b and angle c if i ask you to measure angle b and angle c what you will have you will get to know that you will come to know that angle b of say with the help of instrument if you want to measure angle b and angle c if you want to measure both angle b and angle c you will come to know that whatever angle b measures angle c measures also same right that means suppose a b angle measures 40 50 degree then c will also measures 50 degree this is by practically also we can do it if you want to see it okay that is only in case of isosceles triangle that is in case of isosceles triangle that means if in a triangle two sides are equal then you will get to know that the opposite angles of of for all are also equal that means the opposite angle for side a b that means the side AB for AB side the opposite angle is angle C that is mm, the angle which is in front of that side here in this case the angle which is opposite to AB, AB side is angle C and the angle which is opposite to AC side is angle B that means I want to say if in a triangle isosceles triangle two sides are equal then the opposite angles will also be equal opposite angles to those sides will also be equal okay clear i hope all of you understood now if you want to do practically you can measure it take a triangle where two sides are equal measure the angles you will got to know that both the angles will be automatically equal indeed this is a very important result and this result exists indeed for all isosceles triangle okay for all isosceles triangle indeed this is a this is an important property for isosceles triangle that means the triangle in general overall if we have to say the property or the theorem as a theorem we have in an isosceles triangle 
the angles opposite to equal sides are always equal in an isosceles triangle the angles opposite to equal sides are equal that is angles opposite to equal sides of a, an isosceles triangle are equal angles opposite to equal sides of an isosceles triangle are equal we can prove this by using different rules by using different methods so let us see how to prove this okay first of all let me draw the figure once again here say abc is an isosceles triangle okay so here abc is an isosceles triangle see these properties you'll be needing in higher classes also okay in class 10 also for solving a few questions you'll be needing it as well as in other classes also these are the things small small things you'll be needing okay so try to make these things these concepts very much fluent okay so now say abc is an isosceles triangle where the side ab is equal to the side ac okay now according to the theorem what does it suggest according to this particular theorem since the two sides are equal their opposite angles will also be equal that means this angle c will be equal to angle b okay so here the two angles will be definitely equal let's see how to prove this one okay for proving this one what we have to do i have to take a construction i have to take the help of a construction what i will do i will construct one line angle bisector say ad ad is drawn as angle bisector of angle a that means this ad line bisect angle a bisect means this half part is equal to this half part if i want to name it that is angle bad angle bad is equal to angle cad angle cad okay that is the meaning of the bisector angle bisector means the a angle is divided into two equal parts here the names are okay so now let's prove this one so what is the theorem angles opposite to equal sides of an isosceles triangle are equal so first thing is what we have to prove let's see the proof part first of all what is given we are given a triangle abc right so in triangle abc ab side is equal to ac side okay so abc is an isosceles triangle where ab is equal to ac side in short i have written like this so what to prove we need to prove that we need to prove that the angles opposite to these two sides are equal that means angle b is equal to angle c we are supposed to prove how to prove construction i need to take we need to take the help of construction what i have constructed by my own that is the angle bisector ad is drawn right angle bisector a d angle bisector of angle a that is ad is drawn okay angle bisector of angle a that is ad is drawn it is drawn as angle bisector okay now but how to prove this one since this is the angle bisector i have written only this two angle will be equal now for proving this one once again we have to come we have to take the help of the concept that we have discussed in our previous classes that is congruence of triangles here the angle bisector divided the main triangle abc into two different triangles at the beginning we just need to show that these two triangles are congruent that is triangle abd and triangle acd so our first motive is to show that triangle abd is congruent with triangle acd so let us do this okay let us take the two triangles in triangle abd and triangle acd in triangle abd and triangle acd what i can write i can write that ab side is equal to ac side this is given according to our given information this is an isosceles triangle so i can write straight away after that we will have these two angles are equal according to construction by construction we have angle bad is equal to angle cad by construction by construction next is we have ad side as common if you observe it as i told you as soon as this common things come we need to straight away look at this we need to keep focus on these things at the very first initially we need to focus on that thing only if you observe these common things 
straight away you just think of that it will definitely work on sewing congruence the common things very straight away you have to this common thing has to be in your mind here in this case for both the triangles each side is common that means both the triangle sharing the same boundary line okay so here now as far as this one this is common now as far as the rule side angle side is concerned i can say that both the triangle is congruent look at here this is the side this is the angle and this is the side the angle is included in between the two sides here in this triangle also the angle is included in between the two sides that is side angle side therefore i can write triangle abd is congruent with triangle acd sas rule okay since the two triangles are congruent as i already told you if you are able to show that two triangles are congruent automatically we can write that the corresponding parts are also equal that means i can write angle b is equal to angle c because angle b belongs to triangle abd and c belongs to triangle acd both are corresponding part b and c both are corresponding part here you can see b and c are corresponding part therefore i can write angle b is equal to angle c by cpct corresponding part of congruent triangles this is what we are supposed to prove so thus you just write the final, final statement conclusion you can write thus angles opposite to equal sides of an isosceles triangle are equal that is how we can prove that angles opposite to equal sides of an isosceles triangle are equal very important theorem try to remember this theorem because we will be needing this theorem for proving the exercises question as well okay so make sure that you are thorough with those theorems very smart in a corrective way okay so try to solve this question try to note it down in your copy as well i hope all of you understood about this theorem okay thank you